Hello and welcome back to Ari. Now let's continue. Just finished the temple. So now I think we can get the rest of the stuff possibly. We need to get this over here. I think I need this. Should be it. At least for this section. I should be able to backtrack now safely. Uh, finish off whatever. Except for the one where it's a weird parkour. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit it. Hopefully in the last area I will be. I think I can get up there. Gonna be a tricky jump. Oh, come on. type of trick jumps. No, oh, stupid! Thank you! Finally! I made this ridiculous. Can't even jump off the vines properly. Alright, this better be worth it. One seventy, yeah, I'd give you that look too. The fake smile. Get rid of this so we can get some more HP, please. And I think this will turn it back to the right season. It did. Hmm. Spring again. That collects, yep, that collects it all. So let's go ahead. Can't do that one, so we gotta remember there's one in this area still. But I think I could go to Lemestide? Let's check Lemestide first because I might have to go see uh, someone there for a quest. Oh yeah, look, at the very top. Let's go up first, and then we'll go to the coast after. If I can figure out which way was up again. Excavating? It's hard getting old. Looky here, Dagden. This will cheer you up. Eh? Ah! Why did you steal these crystals from my house, Ari? Stole? No, I found all these across Valdi. I could have sworn these are my crystals. In fact, I'm sure of it. I even carved my name on them. I don't see anything on them. How did you uncarve my crystals? Wait. Did I say? If you don't like them, I can keep them for you. I've started to like crystals myself. Give them here. I'll keep them safe. Think, Ari. 
Greek goddess. Uh, not bad with the the blue sword to tell you the truth. Okay. We got a lot of money now. And that fixed. Go to the coast. Back to the place I rage the most. <laughs> Climb that. Alright, you better do it right. Right here. Get it as high up as possible so that when I jump off this I got time to jump back on. And you failed me again. Why do you do this? Stop. There you go. But when I want you to do it, you won't do it. Finally! That's all I wanted you to do. The only downside is I can't shoot that. Money. I mean, I could land there, but I kind of want to do the oh, this one. Come on, hit it right, please. Actually, went further than I expected. At least this one looks doable. Oh, don't you dare. I'm starting to feel homesick, but I know I must continue my quest. On a per personal note, I got word that from Hannah that she and Bryn are secretly dating. I'm really happy for them. I don't think the other guardians are aware of it. Anyway, there's still much to absorb from this mysterious place. It's my responsibility as a historian to document all that the witch cult has to offer plus I can feel in my bones that there's something more to all this some connection here we go seeking a justified explanation from Algernon guardians of the Sclorel intended to confront him but a great beast called the cartographer sprang into existence blocking their path side note this must be why the witch cult and a few journeymen enter or exit Samheim. On that note, will I make it out of the mountains? I wonder. Okay, back to it. Outraged by Algernon's further betrayal, the witch cult reached out to their allies of the sea. Unwilling to be left out without answers, the witch cult asked the ocean raiders to take action on their behalf but the pirates had an alternate agenda and attacked Lamestide. Algernon and his guardians paired with the legendary warrior were successful in defeating the pirates but not before much of Lamestide was destroyed. In retaliation Algernon outlawed pirates and banned witchcraft. Anyone affiliated with sea raiding or the witch cult was imprisoned. Algernon used a special prison located underground to lock away his adversaries. This underground prison was similar to a mine. Its walls were full of rich deposits of corrupted crystals and jet black crystals that we've all heard about in the stories. 
These corrupted shards negate season crystals' powers and disable guardians' abilities to fight back. When I asked where this prison was located, the witch cult indicated it lied beneath the castle. More to come. So that's the castle that the prison I was stuck in. Okay. Now. I need to shoot. No, 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 no! No, I didn't because I never got a. Okay, Samhain. I didn't have the climb ability, so I need to do this still. Okay. Go ahead and fall. It's all right. Don't need to lock onto the enemy. This is considered spring here because I don't have to worry about summoning that. Okay. Do you have anything worth buying? Hey. Pebble damage. All right. See ya. Well, now I do insane pebble damage. Okay, that was a horrible jump. Come on, climb! About time. Who's here, it looks like. Get rid of you first. Bye bye. Hmm. I brought the rain back. There's still something up here to do. I don't remember what it was. Back to the quest. What do you do here? Can't remember. Just the fact that I gotta do some part four. Do that. I'm rich. Don't worry, Luckton won't be mad. Yo, Luckton, your favorite flavor in the bottle. <laughs> huh? Oh, you're wondering how I could carry five big bottles in my outfit? Deep pockets, of course. Now keep a lookout for Dagman. You know he's going to want you to share. Hmm, what's this outfit? Not a bad design. Oh, and that would have definitely made it easier to collect even the uh, even that right there would have been easy to get because the water reaches it. We. So this section is basically done. I like it. Okay, so last thing to do, head back to the dome.
Don't tell me to go back to Yule. But do I get to see uh, the father? Does are you gonna see the family again, or do they complain? Okay. Of course you don't show quest, but that's fine. No. Ari, how was the temple? The temple was fine, but the golem? Too jokey for his own good. Anyway, I got another light core stone. Interesting, had things not happened this way, we might never have known the golems possessed such differences. But let's not get too sidetracked. One more light core stone to go. I haven't broke a sweat yet. Well, maybe once. Some say heroes are not born, but rather created through circumstances. Tell me more. I grew up in a large family. Two of my brothers were a lot like Crocus and Flynn. Inseparable best friends. Over the centuries, many have taken possession of season crystals, hoping to wield the power of seasons, but failed. It was hard on Crocus being such close friends with Flynn and watching Flynn succeed. Mm -mm. Wait, wait. Did Crocus somehow hurt my brother? Because he was jealous? Mm -hmm. No, Ari. Crocus came to me. The day your brother disappeared. What he did? He was beside himself with fear, explained that how they'd had a run with the hyenas, and instead of fleeing, Flynn stood his ground to fight. But something else, not the hyenas, got the better of your brother. I highly doubt Flynn had an issue because if Ari easily dealt with it, Flynn would have been easily able to. What was it? Crocus heard a terrible gnashing and scraping sound, and in the blink of an eye, your brother was gone. Crocus described it as a dark magic located in the ruins that he swears he cannot find. That's a lie. If the prince has been there, he can find it again. He said even if he could find it again, he would not show anyone, for fear that it would devour another. Do my parents know? Your parents know only what I told them. The Crocus witnessed your brother's death. Why would you say that if there's a chance Flynn could still be alive? No, I don't believe that could be so. By the seasons, I'm sorry, Ari. If I could trade places with Flynn, I would so do so. Heartbreaking oh. loss. And after losing Flynn, we lost your father in many ways, too. Oh. How could Crocus abandon my brother like that? Mm -hmm. Crocus believed he hasn't. From the moment on, Crocus doubled his efforts to become the legendary warrior mm -hmm. for Flynn. Mm hmm. And now we must do this for him. There is only one more light core stone to collect. Then we summon the cartographer. Huh? Normally we turn to your father regarding the old temple, but in his stead, talk to Lucton. He visited there before. Keep the crystals close, find the entrance, and recover the light core hmm. stone. Okay, I will, but Bryn, why not tell me and my parents the whole story from the start? In science fiction or omission feels like the only option. Tradition is great in some ways. It preserves our history. But as you've proven, new traditions springboard us forward. I'll follow your lead. I'll tell your parents everything I know. I'll talk to Lucton. He knows more. Or talk to Lucton. He knows more about the exact location of the Winter Temple. Good luck, Ari. <sighs> A lot of talking. Yes! Are you three of the four stones? Not bad. Not bad at all. Mm. We're nearly finished, but I can't imagine going back to the way things were. Something I've learned as an excavator is that one artifact always tacks onto the next. And I don't really understand what that means. No? Hmm. I thought that was pretty straightforward. What I meant to say was things that were make the things that are. That explanation was worse, wasn't it? Point is, when you return home, things won't be as they were. Knowing Kalina, he's already investigated and updated your father. <gasps> that doesn't sound like my mom. Are you sure you're not talking of someone else? I may not know everything about one's parents is more commonplace than you think. But I digress. Back to you, old friend. Hmm. What was I saying? Dag then. It's okay not I'm losing my memory I mean maybe a little but who doesn't forget things sometimes mm -hmm. I know Dagman we all do 
it's fine. Fine, bah. He says, what fine sure isn't pretty. <sighs> Ever get the feeling that you're on the verge of losing something important forever? What do you mean, Dagon? Uh -huh. Truth is, I didn't leave my crystals at home on purpose like I said I did. This is happening more and more these days. Hmm. Sorry, right, Dagon. We're a team. We help each other. We oh. always do. That's very kind. You're a fine apprentice in my book, sorry. Don't you forget. Yeah. Now skedaddle. We'll keep the final temple mule and we'll hold down the fort over bottles of juice. I like how they call it juice. I know what it is. It's not juice. Lectin holds some knowledge about the Yule temple. You know what a chatterbox he can be. We'll give him your ear. <sighs> Alright, Lectin. Guarding business always include so much running around looked in. Feels like I've hit 10,000 steps at least. <laughs> I got him laughing. Mm. Well, I'm running. That's a good one, looked in. What else do you know about the others? Brynn mentioned something about the crystals holding special energy. Is that what gives these golems life? <laughs> Good memory, Ari. The tree, the landmark tablets say that after the great curse from the ground sprung golems. But the more percolate on this, the more I'm not sure that's entirely true. Some seem more engineered. So, yeah, just like the band notes said it's the same thing after the curse. Mm -hmm. The ancients created superstructures, so why not super golems? That means the golems within the temple could be an unbeatable challenge. Hmm. Ari, maybe it's time to pause until the other apprentices return. Mm -hmm. Then it would not be you alone facing the unknown. You used to see it at every turn, but I still don't want to jeopardize. You're safety. Thanks, Bryn, really, but I have to get keep going. If I get there and it's way too dangerous, I'll come back. Mm -mm. Speaking of the Yule Temple, my dad always said the temple was for guarding business only and not to play in, so he never took me there. <laughs> really? A crack under the Yule elevator? I can't believe it has been under my nose this whole time. I wish we knew more about the temple as in store. Be on your guard, just in case. Hmm. I've got this. The evil mage is not slowing down, and I won't either. Now I... Th I think this one's going to be about, uh... The bird. And it's not going to be an easy fight. How much money do I have? 100. How much is the last skill? Hmm. Ah. Five hundred. So. Goodbye. I'm gonna say probably seventeen hundred to max out on all the stuff. All right. So with that, we're gonna end things here. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.